Hey guys, uh, I'm Gary Tonin. Uh, you might have recently seen me compete uh, in Meta Morris 4 against uh, Kit Dale, and uh, I finished with a high elbow guillotine. And uh, I'm going to show you a little, get a little bit of insight into what I did during that match. All right. So uh, first, I'm just going to get into collar ties with my partner. We ended up jumping right up back to the feet, and uh, this is a mixture of wrestling, a little bit of wrestling, a little bit of jujitsu. So I start with collar ties with my partner. All right. Anytime I'm looking for an underhook, I just kind of turn my elbow in, almost like I'm looking for a darts on the ground, right? I turn my elbow in a little bit, and then I punch into this short style underhook. As opposed to our deeper underhooks where we reach across our partner's back for judo throws or across the hips, I'm just going to get a nice short underhook here on the shoulder so I can control my partner's upper body. My other hand here just stays on my partner's neck, preferably a little bit more towards the crown of the head instead of the back of the neck, because if he postures up here, I can't really pull him down. But when I'm in a position like this, I have his shoulder in, his head to start pulling him to the mat. Now, a lot of people, when they go for guillotines, they get uh, too antsy and try and put their shoulder over right away. But if he keeps good posture, he's going to duck out and he's going to start getting to my back. So I want to make sure that I don't go for that guillotine position part of the snap down until his head gets the same level or lower of my shoulder. So I started in this position, I started to step back and pull. Once that head got down to my shoulder level, all right, I covered it with my shoulder, so now I can put my whole body weight on him instead of just with my hand here, and I snapped down. And anytime I look to snap someone down, we always try to take a little bit of an angle. So I get to this position, okay? I always jump away from the head because it's gonna carry all my weight into his head. If I jump straight back, I get a little bit of weight. If I jump the wrong way, all right, it's only gonna pull on his shoulder and his head can stay up. So I want all that pressure on his head, a little bit of a circuit motion, snapping him down to the mat. Now, he's forced to put at least one hand on the mat to make sure his head doesn't smash into the floor. So now the guillotine is opened up, okay? So after I snap my partner down, I'm gonna make a grip just like this, where I cup my hands underneath my partner's chin, okay? Similar to a 10 finger guillotine that people go for from here, where they cup underneath the chin and start to choke. This is just where I start all of my high elbow guillotines. All right, it gives me flexibility to go from side to side. Say he defends one arm, so just pull one arm away, I can go to this side. If he defends the other arm, I can go to this side and pull that arm away that he defends. All right, now, uh, one important thing when we're in this snap down position, once I bring him down, all right, I can't stay here on my knees. If he just reaches in for my legs, I'm gonna start to collapse towards the floor. So once I get to this position, after I control my partner's head, I get up on my toes to make it more, uh, to be more heavy on my partner and to make it more difficult for him to start trying to go for a takedown. I slide my shoulder off to the back of his neck. I keep this grip, but now I'm gonna slightly adjust it as I fall. So I'm gonna take my knee and bring it across, slide to the side, and as I do, you see how my grip is kinda of loose? I'm gonna slide into that deep position with the guillotine. A lot of people mistake the high elbow for just shoulder flexibility, getting your elbow up. It's more about the rotation of your body, bringing your head to your partner's shoulder. The reason I'm bringing the knee in here when I bring my head to the shoulder, and so his head doesn't pop out and something like this happens, okay? And that doesn't look good, okay? I wanna make sure I'm here, I keep that head in tight. So now, because the knee's there, even if I slip off and fall to the side, I still have his neck, all right? And all the while I'm doing this, the most important thing, which is what ended up happening with Kit, all right? The primary defense to high elbow guillotines when I start to fall to this side is to him, for him to fall to the side with me. So fall to your side towards me, all right? And now I kinda of lose that position. So one of the important things we have to do from here is I keep this leg posted out and as I fall, I reach, I try and take my heel and make it a hook inside of his back that carries me with him the whole time. So as I fall and I pull in that hook, even if he falls, I can pull myself into the mat and I can still manage to finish from here. Now the finish is driving my hips down, pulling my wrists up, all right, for the finish there. And that's pretty much what you guys got to see in Metamoris. Um, Thanks again. This is Gary Tony, and I really appreciate you guys having me.